Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. This is AutoEd Script Tutorial Session. In this tutorial session, we are going to interact with the SQLite database. And this is the tutorial part 2. In this session, we are going to perform, we are going to run the create, update, delete queries on the SQLite inside the AutoEd Script. So let's start with the first statement. So suppose we have to create a table with and uh, we are interacting here with the SQLite database. In that case, we have to run, we have to call a method which is underscore SQLite underscore EXEC method. We have two parameters. First one is a minus one, which is a flag. And the second one is the thing where you will write your query to create a table. So syntax will be same as we are familiar with the SQL syntax, create table, table name, and then column name. That's it. This function will create a table inside your opened database. Before running this query, we have to write the code to open the database and the other import statements. I will show you that thing in the AutoEd script editor. First, we will understand the basic and the core syntax. Now we need to insert a record inside the created table. Again, we will call the same method. But this time we have the insert query as a second parameter. Insert into table name. And here we have the columns after that values. So line number 15 will insert one record inside our table i hope this is clear to you now guys you have added so many records in the table now you want to perform the select statement and you want to read the records and then you want to print okay for this what we need to do look at the line number 20 to, perf to run a select query, we need to call this method underscore SQLite underscore query, then the minus one. After that, you have the query. And then the third parameter is a local variable, which will treat it as a result set. You can call it when the query execution is done. All records will be loaded here in this variable. So this will be treated as a result set. And when we are going to run the while loop, so we will read our record row by row and then we will read the columns from that record row. So here is the syntax for that. We have while loop. This is while opening and while closing. Inside this while, we are going to read a row one by one. So we have to call this method underscore SQLite underscore fetch data. And here we have two parameters. First one is the variable which we have passed here at the time of calling this SQLite query method. Okay. The same will go here because the records populated in this variable. And this is our result set. You can call it. And this is the temporary variable. So every time when you call this fetch data method, that will load one row at a time and equal dollar SQLite OK, which is defining that we are successfully reading one row at a time in every iteration of this while loop. Now the first row fetched. And we have three columns in the first row, like ID, name and address. So if you want to read the ID like syntax, so the index will go from the 0, 1, 2 and so on. If you have many columns, so you can go from 0, 1, 2, 3. So the index will be used in this way. Here you can see this line. We have row. So the one row is fetched from that result set. Now I want to read the value of 
name name column then i need to pass the one and in case i want to read the address so i will pass the value two so this is the index which is representing the column position 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on this way you can read the value and this while loop will print all the names from the data fetched okay this was the way we can perform the select statement and we can use the while loop to print the data now we moving to the next update a record in case we want to update a record so the syntax will be similar we need to call the sqlite underscore egg exec method and this is the minus one the first parameter will be as it is and the second one is the query update the table set column name the column which we want to update and this is the given value and where clause where id is this so this is your query for the update that's it for the update purpose we need to call the same method now moving further if we want to drop a table in that case we will use the same underscore sqlite underscore exec method and we will go with the query this way now i am taking to you inside the auto -it script editor there i have written the complete syntax in one go and we will see all the action items so this is my auto it script and let me open here so inside the editor you can see this is a big program but this is very simple and easy to understand i will explain you each step so you can easily correlate what i have explained you so the first thing we have declared three variables first one is the query and the second one for the row and third one is a message like a simple temporary variable which is storing a string value this is the startup method as you are familiar to start the database engine then we are performing console dot write we want to check that loading is successful or not in in case any error this will not print the sqlite library version okay moving further in this example we are creating the uh, disk database so we are going this way we have created one temporary file and here i am trying to print the location of that temporary file so i will show you where the database is going to be created because we are creating a disk database so i want to show you this as well now moving further this is the syntax to create and open the disk database so calling the sqlite open and passing that temporary file name so this will become a disk database okay so as you know the syntax for creating a table underscore sqlite dot underscore sqlite underscore exec method and then we have minus one and this is the syntax for the table creation we are going to create the employee table at this place we have three columns id name and salary that's it so this will create a table inside the database now if we want to insert the record here is the syntax that is simple and very easy as you know we are calling the same method now you need to read the records so you can call the you can uh, run the select query in that case you have to call this method underscore sqlite underscore query method okay and here is the second param third parameter which is important so this is the local variable which we have declared here so we are using this local variable and this local variable will be converted as a result set so the query execution will be done and we will have multiple rows populated here in this variable and this variable will be treated as a result set as you have seen in the other programming languages we have the result set which stores the number of rows okay 
Now it's time to read the rows and uh, we are trying to print the column values with the while loop. You can see while loop syntax is here, here. and the important thing is this method SQLite underscore fetch data and after that we have this result set and we have again a simple local variable. So whenever we are calling the SQLite fetch data, so this will read, this will fetch one row at a time and this will show SQLite underscore OK. That means everything is fine. One row has been read successfully. Okay. And then now row is read and assigned to this variable. So this variable is representing a complete row, a complete record with multiple columns. Now, if you want to read any particular column value, you have to use this array index this way. So one is representing the column, the second column. So the first column is zero position, second column is one and third column index is two and so on. So in this case, I am reading the name that means the second column and assigning the value of that column to this temporary variable to print further. And I'm using the console dot console write method for printing that value. Don't confuse this is CRLF means it's just like that line change. Because uh, loop will execute and this will print multiple statements on the console. So for the proper uh, readability, this will print every time to the next line. Okay, I hope this is clear. So we have one simple loop and this is the important method which is performing the read action. Fetch data. Okay. And this is the variable which is holding a record. Okay, a record. In every iteration, this will read one record. That means and when while loop come to second time, this will read the second record this will go on this will go on until you reach to the last row okay now moving further if you want to update the record if you want to update any column value so you can go with that the same function calling underscore sqlite underscore ex ec then minus one and after that we have to give the update query here that's it so i have made the arrangement i have uh, added three records then uh, we are going to read the added records and we are trying to print here and after that i am performing uh, the update with one record and then i'm going to query the database again and then i'm going to print the updated values here so you can understand what is the use of all these functions and you can correlate what I am explaining you here now in case you want to drop a table you can also do that with the help of this underscore SQLite underscore EX EC method and this is the time for closing the resources that means the opened database we have opened a database which is the disk database and we have the handle for that so we will call this sqlite close method okay after that we are going to delete that temporary file which became our database so simply call the file delete function give the file name here and finally, we are going to shut down the SQLite DB engine properly and we are cleaning up all the resources which has been used for creating and opening the SQLite database. With the help of this underscore SQLite underscore shutdown method. Okay. Everything is here 
in front of you now I'm going to run it and uh, we will see every action response on the right hand side on the terminal now I'm going to the tools click go okay on the right hand side you can notice this is the DB name this is the temp DB file which has been created inside the app data local folder temp folder and this is the our database name temp database name so first temporary file is created which became our database after that we have used a while loop to print the added records and here we are printing the name of the employees simply okay as I have told you we have this column position and which is the index value for the second column so the first while loop printed this way Mike Peter and Sam after that we have executed the update query here and we have updated the first record that means we have just replaced the Sam with Robinson okay and here we have the while loop which is printing the updated values from the table so we got Mike Peter and Robinson in this with this help of second while loop here so guys this is the way you can uh, perform the create operation insert operation update and delete operation inside the SQLite with the help of auto it script I hope you guys have clear understanding on all these concepts if you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and you can subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool IT help